I wonder what middle school is going to be like. I wonder how different it's going to be. I wonder if my friends are thinking the same thing that I'm thinking. I wonder if they'll ask me. I wonder if I should ask them. Are we allowed to chew gum in class? Can we decorate our locker? Do we have projects? Can you take honor classes? Do we get to pick our connection classes or are they assigned to us? How do you sign for band or chorus? Do you have to keep good grades to play sports? Does chorus go on field trips? How many sports are you allowed to participate in? Is there an, are there after school rehearsals for chorus? Do they have detention? Do they have ISS or OSS? Do you get paddled? Do you get rewards for good behavior? What happens if you get in a fight? Do police search locker? How much homework is assigned each week? Do we have homework every night? What are the consequences when homework is not turned in? Are we ever assigned homework with a partner or group? Who are the guidance counselors? What kind of things can they help us with? Can they help us stay organized? What do we do if there's a problem with bullying? Will I get to ride the same bus in middle school? Do I get to hang out with my friends? Will we get to see people, people from different grade levels? Are the classes longer? Do we get to pick our classes? Is it easy making friends as it is in elementary school? Is peer pressure different in middle school? Is the nurse as nice as she was in elementary school? Do you have enough time to hang out with your friends in middle school? Are we going to get a tour of middle school? Are we going to have to spend a lot more money for stuff in at middle school than we would in elementary? How long are my connection with classes going to last? Do we have to study harder in middle school than elementary school? I wonder if we'll have a lot of after school activities in middle school. I wonder if we'll see anyone from the swing since we have so many different classes. I wonder if the middle school day is longer than the elementary school day. If I'm in chorus here, will I be able to be in court pick if I'm in chorus there? If we're in AP classes, do we have to take our regular classes? I wonder if the teachers there are going to be mean. I wonder if we have longer gyms because we don't have recess no more. I wonder if we have more fun in middle school than we do in elementary. Who are the principals at the middle school? What are they like? Are they as nice as our principal? Hi, is Mr. Bowen around? I'm going to speak to him. Mr. Bowen is extremely busy right now. You got this, Mr. Bowen. Hey, we'll be, we'll be with you later. We got things to do back here. Woo! No. Are they as pretty as our principal? Hey, who, who says, says we're not pretty principals? Are they as smart as our principal? Okay. Look, I'm blank. I need some help. Come on, people. Let's go. Miss Barnett, they're not sharing. Come on. I need some help. Can I come back there, Trevor? No. No? I'm done. Hi, I'm Tony Waters, Parent Engagement Coordinator for Gordon County Schools. Maybe you're afraid of some of the transition that happened in middle school. We're here with this video to help with some of those questions. Good morning, I'm Alan Bowen, Principal at Sonoma Middle School. I want to talk to you a little bit about the dress code and how it changes from elementary school to middle school. And it especially changes for the young ladies uh, because in the elementary school world, uh, shorts are not, there's not necessarily a mandatory length of shorts. Uh, middle school, the girls' shorts must reach the touch the top of the knees, and, and that's an issue that we deal with, and we handle it gently and nicely because we know you're learning and transitioning, but we do uh, want to make sure you're aware that there is a change in dress code between elementary and then middle and high. One other dress code issue that we do deal with from time to time, which affects both the young men and the young ladies, uh, are holes in pants. And what we basically do is if you have holes in your pants above the knee, we either ask you to change or we place duct tape on those holes. There are other dress code items and issues, and you can find all that information in the Gordon County School Student Handbook.
Hi, my name is Mr. Weaver, and I am one of your middle school counselors, and we want to welcome you to middle school. You may be wondering about your class schedule when you get to the sixth grade. Um, each day you're going to have six classes, and four of the six are what you are already accustomed to, your math, science, social studies, and language arts. Now, part of the six, we have two, which are connections classes and you will attend those each day and they may change every nine weeks. Uh, the Connections classes may range from um, art, PE, uh, band, chorus, agriculture, uh, career exploration, and maybe a few others. Out of all the Connections choices, there are only three that you actually get to choose and that would be band, chorus, and weight training. Those courses would be a year-long course the remaining connection classes will rotate each nine weeks and we do that on purpose to expose you to the different areas in hopes that you will become interested in one of those areas possibly for a career at some point later on in life and as you move into high school. Hi, I'm Scott McClahan, Principal Ashworth Middle School. Some of the topics we're discussing today will be parent contact. Parents feel free to contact the school through www.gcbe.org website and also you can find links to the various schools and the phone numbers listed there. Obviously other means of communications will be through email. So feel free to utilize any of those uh, areas anytime. Hi, it's Mr. Emilio. Tell us about the uh, Snorval Middle School lunch process. Well, the Snorval Middle School lunch process is that all the students are brought in by their teachers and they walk into the lines and as they go through the doors, they germ -ex their hands and then they get their trays and then they get their food and then they pay at the cashier and then they go to their designated seating areas. So they have, is there a lunch choice? Do they have one line, more than one line? Actually, they do have two lines, but they are offering the same food on each side so that way everybody can just get through the lines faster. Awesome, thank you. No problem. Hey y'all have a good day. One thing we really like to emphasize as you move into middle school is BYOT, bring your own technology. We encourage you to bring your technology. Many of you have smartphones that you can access, research, do all sorts of things with. Also you may have a uh, iPads or tablets that you can use, so we highly encourage that for educational purposes, but we also want to make sure that you know that you must always keep those items secure because uh, they may be stolen and many times if they're stolen they're very hard to recover, but we do want you to BYOT. One thing that, if it's not already a big part of your life, will become a bigger part of your life as you go from middle school into high school is social media. Facebook, Twitter, those type of things. What you need to know about that is they can be positives or they can be negatives. Uh, we Please don't use those things for negative reasons. Uh, to say mean things, to uh, put mean pictures, to transfer and send pictures and items that shouldn't be sent because that can get you in trouble, not just here at school, if it happens at, at, during school hours, but also it can get you into trouble with law enforcement. So we definitely don't want that to happen. So how is a nurse, how is being a nurse at the middle school different than being a nurse at the elementary school? I would say at the elementary school, you would have to kind of ask lots of questions to the student and ask what's going on and at the middle school they can tell you up front what's going on with them. Alright, so how is it different for a student to come to the clinic in middle school versus the elementary school? Well, in middle school they need, they need a pass. Normally in elementary school the teacher would walk them to the nurse. Um, they can carry their inhalers with them at middle, in the middle school, their EpiPens, things like that. If a child gets sick at school, how do you deal with that differently in middle school than elementary school? Um, if they get sick here at school, sometimes I can give them medicines to help. Otherwise, I would have to call someone to come pick them up, and they would wait at the office until the parent arrives. Parent and students, 
we'll have a new information or student information system this upcoming school year. It's called Infinite Campus. It's supposed to be great with various tools where you can look at obviously attendance, grades, and behavior and other things that you may be concerned with. We'll be sending out more information through automated phone calls and other various means as the school year progresses. So feel free if you have any questions to reference this. It's called School at Any Time. Hey, a little bit about our discipline policy here at Ashworth Middle School. We have what is called a uh, progressive type discipline where we take uh, small infractions. We deal with those as they come in. You know, a lot of times the first infraction will result in just a warning, depending on what the infraction is. And then as the infractions become more frequent from a particular student, you know, the consequences obviously become a little bit more severe. And that's the way we deal with this one here at Ashworth. Uh, and of course, if we have a very, very major event that occurs, um, then we deal with that in a separate way. But we have what's called progressive discipline here at Ashworth. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the way they do things over at Snorville. Um, and that's the way we're going to handle things. You'll get a handbook uh, when you come over to Ashworth. It'll explain a little bit more. And obviously, if you have any questions when you get your handbook, we'll be here to answer them. One of the hottest topics that is dealt with by all school officials throughout the country, as well as here in Gordon County, is bullying. The thing about bullying is there is a state law against bullying, and it's pretty detailed, but you can check that law and all the information about it out in the Gordon County Schools Handbook on page nine. Now, typically what we have is not legally bullying. We have somebody that's aggravating another student. First, we have to know that that's going on. So if something's happening, you let us know so we can investigate. Too many times we have a parent call and tell us that it's been going on for a month or several weeks. And if we had known from day one, we would have nipped it in the bud, as they say. But sometimes it, they let it go too far. So let us know. We will investigate. It's probably not bullying to start with. If it continues, if it's purposeful, if it's hurtful, if it based on the law is bullying, we will uh, deal with it as such. But again, typically it's aggravating, pestering what you, any of those words, and we will deal with it, and typically it ends, and we move on. But if not, we will definitely handle that and make sure that you feel safe and secure here so that you can learn and enjoy your middle school uh, environment. Students and parents, another big thing in schools is peer pressure. Students, I want you to, to uh, make good choices, reference who you surround yourself with, the various friends that are going to be positive, and the uh, decisions that you make, and they reinforce those decisions. So uh, please make sure that you've got a good safety net of friends and that uh, will support you in the things that you decide. Parents, also just encourage your students because we'll be coming from different schools, elementary schools to, to our central location of the middle schools. Encourage them to surround themselves with uh, positive individuals. Students in reference to peer pressure also, remember that you have support teams uh, or members here within the school setting. You've got friends, you've got teachers, you've got counselors, administrators, any individual you feel comfortable going to and sharing that with. So please make sure, do not harbor it and hold on to it. Let them know or let individuals know how we can assist and help you. That's our ultimate goal, to make sure that you are safe and happy each and every day once you come to school and also obviously getting a good education.